Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and uh, select all. But a revenue banger and you exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. Well, guys, let's talk about something very important right now. The Hunter Bronze Bomber War that we know got stopped by Jan Jilei. But during the the um the ongoing fight between Dubois versus Eligovich. His Excellency Turkey Lashik stated that um, if Wado beats Janjali, he will get to fight Anthony Joshua. That was the first, that was actually the, the initial fight. The preferred fight for His Excellency because, listen, that was a fight that we should have seen over five years ago. We you know what happened. Boxing politics, ego, and many things. But let me ad address this right here with the zone. So the zone took down my video, and I sent them basically an email wrong take uh, wrong take that twice of my video resulting to two copyright strikes on my channel. I wrote a very good message to them. What did they do? They came back and saying, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for contacting the zone customer. Sorry for the inconvenience cost. Thank you for your feedback. These guys are very nepotistic in nature. They take down videos of people unjustly. And then you write them and then they write you this, this crap right here. I even contacted the email in which they took down my video. But I'm still I'm I'm yet to get a, re a response from from those guys, no response at all. I asked them to retract the copyright claim because I there is no I didn't make any error there. I was just reacting to a fight with a public a fight public picture, the the fight the picture of the fight, which is which is found can be found in public domain and is under the use of uh, uh, under the policy of fair use. You know what I mean. So, it's just kind of sad the way the zone has been acting lately ever since he essentially talking she came on board. All because the big fight, the big fights are getting made now. The zone thinks it's time to wipe everybody out of the equation, and then just do their thing, be nepotistic in nature. That zone is not good for boxing. It is very wrong what they do, taking down people's content just like that without having any right to it and claiming your claiming your content as theirs which is very wrong and i did a lot i wrote youtube and did and did everything necessary but youtube is saying yeah like they are not giving me an, a clear answer they're rejecting the uh, rejecting my counter notification claim and then still asking me to reapply again i don't know man yeah, it's just I'm just frustrated with the zone and the way they the way they're behaving. But I know what to do now. So yeah. It's one of those things. Anyways, let's talk about this fight right here. The potential of Fabi uh Anthony Joshua. We all know that Joshua's Joshua's next fight will take place uh will be at Wembley. Wembley Stadium. Where over 100,000 people we assemble. I know Webley Stadium capacity is like 80,000 something, but an extra 20,000 seat can be assembled. It's possible. Real season is going to be part of real season anyway, because this is a list of Kalashik will be flying to the UK June 25th. Kind of finalize the whole thing and the event the press conference and everything i'll look forward to it though i look forward to that be interesting now 
let's talk about this right here. Um, a lot of the British uh, fanatics, the British uh, media, are of course backing Dubois to beat uh, Anthony Joshua. I think they are making the same mistake they made when they counted Joshua out. Any same boxing fan knows that Dubois is still a developing fighter. You know, Joshua is going to ruin this guy's dream. Dubois needs time to develop. He's a very good fighter, but his defense is fully non-existent. Very wide open for right hands, wide open for jabs, wide open for uppercuts. He takes your shot to want to give you back. He did that in the Ergovich fight. He took Ergovich shot and weighed Ergovich down. Ergovich came in very cocky, thinking he was gonna knock Dubois out in the in the first seven seven uh, in the first two rounds, which was a wrong game plan. He wasn't even in shape. He got tired after two rounds. But let's not get anything twisted. If Dubois use his chin to def as a as a form of defense against Anthony Joshua, it's gonna be an early night for Dubois. We know about the sparring, about talks. People say, yeah, the sparring was good. Uh, Dubois did because Dubois was used. Um. Joshua's name was used to beat up Dubois. When, he made, when Frank Warren signed Dubois, the first thing he, he talked about was he had a good spar in uh, a good sparring with Joshua, and we heard he knocked him down. That was the selling point of Dubois. That was it. There was no beating him up to a superstardom. There was no beating his brand. Nothing at all. Joshua's name was used to build Dubois up. But what ended up happening was Dubois faced Joe Joyce. Dubois got cocky himself, faced Joe Joyce, thinking he was going to knock Joe Joyce out. He got stopped and he quit. He said no mass. Dubois was stopped by Joe Joyce. And then they put him in immediately in a war title, eliminator or something like that. He he fought Kevin Larena, you know, he fought some couple of uh, guys. And then he met Usyk, lost again, quit again, had some success against Usyk, especially that body shot. But outside that, he lost every he lost every round. It's just what it is. Now, fighting to uh, Jeremy Miller, a good fight. Jeremy Miller was out of the ring for two years. You know, over 300 pounds, stuff like that. We're just walking forward, blocking with his chin, and we all know what happened then. And then Egovich fight. Good fight. I tell you right now, Dubois, if he wants to have any chance against Joshua, of beating Joshua, that defense needs to be worked. Because if he uses his head, his chin, as defense, it is good night. It is good night. It will be good night for du du Dubois and quicker as well. I have to let I have to know that some people punch very hard. There are we have three elite heavyweight punchers in the division right now: John Gilley, Anthony Joshua. And Deontay Warder. Warder is an elite puncher with that right hand. Forget about his losses, forget about his last performance, forget about he's still an elite puncher. He just hasn't figured a way how to set it up well or doesn't have the fire anymore in him. Joshua is an elite puncher. Dubois is a good puncher. But his, pun his punch is not elite yet because he did, he hit. Egovich with everything that he had. Basically, his hardest punches, Egovic was still there. The cut is the reason why the fight got stopped. Let's keep it real right here. 
So the boy should work on his defense or or else it's gonna be a good night. And I want I like the fact that the British media are backing the boy to beat Joshua. This is good. Back back Dubois. So Joshua will keep disappointed them. It's just facts. By the way, shout out to the African fighters for this graphic right here. Well made. And they are like very good uh, platform. Go follow them. Let's support our brothers. God bless you all. Cheers, guys. <laughs>